Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. For those of y'all who don't know, my name is Renee. And tonight is a retinol night, so I decided that I was gonna film this for y'all because my last nighttime skincare routine was um, well without retinol. And while I am filming this video, I'm gonna try to give y'all some retinol tips. So if you are just trying to get into retinol um, or if you want to learn more about you know retinol journey this is the place but i do want to make sure that y'all know that i'm not an esthetician y'all so just keep that in mind so as always i'm going to start off my skincare routine by washing my hands and i just like to do that because like to do that. So, dry my hands. And as always, oops, I got the makeup on here. As always, I'm going to start with my Dermalogica pre cleanse. Because, of course, I put sunscreen on today, so we already know. That we're gonna have to double cleanse. All right, so after I get that everywhere, I'm gonna take some water, take my hands, or then throw that into my face. And what's crazy, y'all, is I really need to curl my wigs. So I'm like, oh my god. I was like, maybe I'll curl my hair while I watch the games because um, who plays tonight? I know the Packers play, and the other team escapes me right now. Unfortunately, I want to say like the Rams. I think. Not sure, but yeah. So um, I'm thinking I'm just gonna I'm gonna do my hair and watch the game, but. I can't because this burn looks real crazy. I'm hoping that that's somewhat healed by New Year's Eve. Um, because if not, I'm going to have to do a cute little side part because this is not giving at all. That's crazy. Everybody's like, you should just learn how to do your hair. You should just. No. Leave me alone. All right. So I am going to rinse that off and put the dry right here. Alright, next step, of course, that Polish Choice Omega Plus Complex Cleansing Balm. Like I told y'all, this is bomb. Like if you are looking for something that really, um, We'll get everything off, like makeup, sunscreen, whatever. That's definitely something you should be using. Because the crazy is, I filmed this video and I needed memory space, so I accidentally deleted it. Was not happy when I realized what I did. So this is technically a reshoot. So I'm just gonna take my towel and I'm going to clean the product off my face. All right, I actually wanna rinse this in. All right, so now I can get into the tips. So, face is clean. Got all that. So, the skincare routine that I follow when I am doing retinol is my kiss routine. Keep it simple, stupid. So, like, when I started doing or using retinol for the first time, it was 2020. And, you know, I was like, well, okay, I'm getting older, you know, I need to 
add my retinol to my routine. And again, y'all, I'm using this Belief Hydrating Toner, um, the Hydrating Aqua Bomb Toner. And um, I just kind of jumped right in because I feel like I'm at the age where I have a pretty good idea of what kinds of products are going to work for me and which ones aren't. And, you know, basically I thought I knew everything and I did not. So initially, like, my skin did start, like, getting super clear. Like, it was super glowy, but then it started getting really dry. Um, and that's because I was using the retinol every day. And starting out, and you are definitely not supposed to do that. I'm skipping steps. So now I'm going in with my The Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Serum, and I'm just gonna press that into my skin. So the first thing that you wanna do is if you are just starting on your retinol journey, you wanna make sure that you um, start out with a product that doesn't have a whole lot of retinol in it. Just one. Um, and then do not start applying that serum or whatever you're using every day because that would definitely tear your skin up. So you want to start out like probably like once a week, then go to two times a week, then you know go to every three days, then every two days, you know, until you're using it every day. But you want to make sure that you're giving your skin time to get acclimated because like I said, it right now will really tear your skin up. And so like I said, you want to keep it simple when you're doing right now. So I'm actually gonna skip the hydrating essence tonight. I did put on my The Ordinary Caffeine Solution, um, like for like my eye serum or eye cream. And now I am going to go in with my next two products, my Ultra Repair um, First Aid Moisturizer from uh, First Aid Beauty. And then I'm using this La Roche-Posay Redermic uh, Retinol Serum. All right, so another tip that I have for y'all is to combine your face uh, moisturizer with the retinol because that will also kind of take away some of those side effects. Don't use a lot, less is more. You don't gotta squeeze the whole bottle into your hand, you know, to get results. Um, so I just combine it and then I apply it. Oh my God, it's gonna probably burn. So you see, I'm putting it on my, all over my face. I'm putting it all over my neck. Lips, neck. And that concludes my skincare routine for when I'm using retinol. So another tip is if you feel like you're starting to get like a little dry from the retinol, you definitely want to make sure that you're putting an occlusive over the top of your skin. Um, if you are like a dry or combo dry girl, you can use um, Argan Oil for sure. Um, Ulta has some. Um, you can also use like the CeraVe Healing Ointment or like Aquaphor over the top as well. Um, that can work as an occlusive. Um, for oily girls, I'm really not sure because I mostly just look up what works for my skin. But, um, yeah. So that is the end result. Alright, beautiful people. So this is the finished product, um, for my nighttime skincare routine with retinol. Y'all, can y'all see that big old burn mark on my forehead? Like, y'all, I cannot believe that I did that to myself. Like, when I go get my hair done on Thursday, Michaela is going to be like, yeah, don't try to touch your head again <laughs> without me. So, yes, guys, this was my nighttime skincare routine. If you enjoyed my content, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you go tell everybody, and I will see y'all next time for the next video.